with grief for thee my heart is nearly breaking my land is a dark place the past 20 years has been under the rule of deforce and gradually they have abandoned christian values they speak about thy beauty rare till hearts are set afire yea hey fully thy servants there are My grandmother once told me that I would find the truth if I seek for it in the right places. She gave me a book where the secret was written and told me not just to think about it but do and speak. My heart can find no comfort. My tears like rivers run. My lamentations We're not fighting against humans. We are fighting against forces and authorities and against the rules of darkness and powers in the spiritual world. And in that fight, I need help. Help from you. And at the walls I leave, I'm ever Hi, welcome to my HQ. This is where I hang around. So look around if you'd like and get to know the place before we start. What's going on everybody? I am Party B. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing a demo that I found online. I was bored one night um, and I ran across this game and it looks great. It's completely different than what you're used to on the channel. Usually we play horror games, survival games, stuff like that. But this is something that I, I think that I need to show off. It's a game about the Bible. I'm really excited to see a high quality Bible game because you just don't see those very often. So. State power supply and left to my own devices. After two months of my... After two months of my grandfather's old generator, I made my something. Okay. It kind of cut off there. Anyway. But yeah, this is this is really cool. Uh, it's really cool to see. To see people making a game about the Bible. So I'm really excited to, to see what the game has in store. I watched a little bit of the first demo gameplay of it. And I believe this is being made in Unreal Engine 5. It just looks so good. Like, I'm... I'm like, I'm very, I'm pretty positive this was Unreal 5. So I think the concept of this, which um, you have like a time machine, you're like in this futuristic world where I think like they've kind of banned the Bible. And the concept of this is you go back in time to try to find out secrets that your grandmother left or something. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. But um, I assume that if that's the case, that this is stuff that he may have brought back from time traveling, I think. Every time I traveled to Jerusalem, I like to bring a souvenir back with me. Okay, what else do we have here? Anything. A workbench. Okay, oh, hey, there he is. Um, what's this? I have to be on guard the whole time so that no DeForce agents find their way in here. Okay. Let's put it oh. this way. They have an enormous interest in stopping what we're doing here. This is, <laughs> that's just Unreal Engine, that's funny. You got the uh, the blueprints and stuff, that's kind of cool. But yeah, it's definitely stuff that's, that's pretty much gonna happen in the future. They're gonna ban the Bible, they're gonna try to do all these things to uh, keep people from reading it, that's so. the Bible I got from my grandmother. Deforce wants to get rid of all Christianity. They think that all limitations need to be eliminated in order for people to be happy. Yep, pretty accurate, okay. What's up, man? Hey, Hector. Hey there, I've been waiting for you. I'm just finishing up some final adjustments on the time machine here. I want you to travel back to a very significant event. This is going to be really crucial for us. We're ready. Where are we going this time? We're going to Passover in the year 33. Get set, here we go. Welcome back to 
Jerusalem to a very important time, Passover. This is the greatest celebration of the year for the Jews. And hundreds of thousands have traveled to Jerusalem in memory of their deliverance from Egypt and to offer sacrifices in the temple. Wow, it's a totally electric atmosphere. I can actually hear the roar of the city all the way up here. Yeah, you totally can. Does it sound like it's coming from the Golden Gate? See if you can figure out what's going on. Okay. Oh, now we're in third person. Okay. What's this? What's this? A copper Jewish coin, one sixth of the denarius in value. Okay. I to see inventory. Oh, we got a lot. We're rich. Wow. Cool. All right. What's this? Oh, that's the time. The, okay. That's the time machine there. Invisible. Okay. What's this? Hyssop, a fragrant herb known for its cleansing properties, often used in rituals and remedies. Okay. Tab. Hey, what's this? Okay, so here's the map. Ooh, that's cool. I like how that map is. It's like a 3D map. Okay. What's riddles? Riddles, riddles. Unlock the riddle later in the story. Okay. Inventory character. Oh, we can change our clothes? Okay, cool. So, Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Get closer to the Golden Gate. Okay. That's what we will do. Do a donkey. Hello. So we can jump, and sprint. What's this? Wheat. Essential, it's the essential crop. Okay. Cool. Grain field, new word collected, obtained from wheat item description. Okay. So can we, okay, so we gotta unlock the actual riddle still. So I guess we're looking for words to do the riddle, like to unlock the riddle. I don't know if it's going to be full in the uh, the demo or not, but uh, side quest, new side quest unlocked, follow the blue marker. I don't see a blue marker. Is that blue? Am I colorblind? I assume that that's it, considering that's where it's trying to tell us to go. What's this? Pick up a stone? Okay. What is this? Olives. Okay. Take all these. Sorry, guys. I don't, you know, <laughs> didn't come to Jerusalem to steal all your stuff. Apple. Oh, I found an apple too. Okay. Uh, I hope we can. Is there like a health system? Like, I don't want to hurt my... Okay, that probably didn't feel too good. All right, let's go down here. Hey, man, what's up? Hello, what's wrong? Hey there, would you be able to help me? My father, he went to the town and he told me to watch the lambs. I left the gate open for just one second, but suddenly all of them ran out. Let's catch some lambs. Okay. We're gonna get some sheepers. Okay, so catch the lambs. Catch the lambs while they're mobile. Oh, you could, there's mobile play. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, they've distracted them at the food station, then return the lambs to the pen. Beware if a hungry wolf has taken your lamb, throw stones at it to get your lamb back. Okay. So we don't want the wolves to get them. Good thing we picked up some stones because I didn't have any before. Oh, there's the lambs. Hey. Oh, I can't pick. How, how do I pick them up? Is there a way to pick them up? No? Do we just chase them around? Or am I just pushing the wrong button? Oh, I don't want to throw something at them. That's just rude. Do I have Do I have to throw a rock at a lamb to, like, knock it out? Don't hate me for this. Okay, well, that didn't work. Oh! The lambs are running around the field. I'm... <laughs> I actually... ...eat at the food stations. Once the lambs are distracted by the food, you can catch them and bring them back to the pen. Be careful. Wolves are in the area. That was on me. I had escape thinking that I could get out of that menu, but escape actually quit the game itself. So, okay. So now we should be able to catch these guys. I guess they're going to stop at the... Oh, there we go. Come on, buddy. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Oh, I just ran through a fire. So do we just put them in the pen, I assume? There we go. Okay, cool. So they stop at the feeding stations to eat, and that's whenever you go grab them. Aha! Oh. So we have to catch five and try not to lose lambs to the wolves. A hungry wolf is approaching. He wants your lambs. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Defend them by throwing rocks to scare no, he doesn't. Where's he at? Where's he at? I'll get you. I'll get you. Aha! You stay away. You stay away. Oh, now I feel bad. He's whining, crying. Of course, you tried to steal the lamb, so that's on you. Three more, three more. 
There's one. I think I broke the wolf. He's just kind of hanging out there. Unless he's waiting right there for another one to go eat there. There's four. I hope Jesus will be in the temple. Maybe we could have a conversation with him. And... Five. I won. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, oh, you are just as kind as Yeshua, who was here earlier today. Jesus? He was here? You know Jesus? Yes, he is my good friend now. He helped me to feed the lambs. He told me it's very important to take good care of the lambs from an early age. Then they will always listen to the shepherd's voice. And ah, oh, I hope that I will become a good shepherd when I am older. So the lambs will always feel safe. Okay, that was an interesting conversation. Clearly Jesus has taught him what it means to be a good shepherd. Okay. Oh, so we opened up a, a new word. Yeah, so we still can't get, the, to get to the riddles. Okay. So now we go to the temple, I guess. Is that the temple? I think so. That's a very large, large building. I mean, the game looks fantastic so far. It's for, for like a demo, it runs well. I interest you in a horse? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, I would love a horse. 80 denari. Uh, I don't think that we have that much. Well, then you'd better come back when you have. How much do we have? Close, close. Hello. Well, can I sell stuff? Aha, I can. Can we, like, make enough for a horse? I can't sell a stone. Lame. Okay, so now how much do we have? Oh, we're so close. Okay, let's find some stuff to sell because I want a horse. I want that horse. What's this? Oh, you can make... Okay. The first drops of cold-pressed olive is the finest and the purest oil. The fresh and robust flavor such oil was used to kindle the menorah. What is this? The Garden of Gethsemane. The Garden of Gethsemane lies at the foot of the Mount of Olives, just outside of Jerusalem. According to the Gospels, this is where Jesus prayed and was arrested the night before his crucifixion. The name in Hebrew means oil press, and there are several groves of olive trees here to this day, some over 900 years old. Here Jesus prayed in anguish as he battled to be completely reconciled to what he's, he needed to go through for our sakes. Facts can be read in the inventory at Hector's archive at any time. Okay, cool. I mean, that's really cool how they've got like different parts of scripture kind of posted around. So I was over here collecting apples and I'm, I'm now floating. I think it's just like a hitbox thing, but yeah, there it is. Okay. That's kind of funny. All right. Still looking for, for stuff so I can buy a horse. I want a horse. That's my goal. What is this? Is this a, what is this area? It's like a maze or something. You are told to give up your own life. What does that mean? Left to obey the laws of Moses had received from God. This will give you good life and others will see that you are a person of good faith right to not give into your lusts but to give up your own will by continuously doing that the life of christ will appear in you i mean we're going right for sure so it's back here i'm just exploring now at this point like there's just so much to this okay as you heard to take up your cross means to die in what way do you think jesus wants you to die left he wants me to put my own selfish interest on the cross so that i can stop doing things that are bad for me in the long run right he wants me to be more like the image of god i mean they're both right right i'm no i'm no biblical scholar i mean i try <laughs> i try i read the bible what I don't know if there's any right or wrong answer on those. They both seem kind of, kind of right. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. Maybe there, maybe there is a right and wrong answer. Okay. <laughs> We're wrong. <laughs> Way to humble me, game. I appreciate it. Ooh, is there a door? Can I get in the door? No. Okay. Why are you so quick to find excuses when it comes to suffering and to deny your own will? It's hard for an earthly human being to be the same on the same frequency as God, right? This is common when you are young. When you get older, God speak to you in a different way, so it is easier for you to understand how you deny your own will. I mean, I'm going to go left. It's got to be the correct spot. Yes, okay, cool. 
Why did Jesus call Peter Satan? Satan had power over Peter because Peter had sinned. It was necessary that Messiah had to suffer when this was introduced. Peter reacted the way all humans react. He wanted to avoid the suffering. This way of thinking is, in fact, contrary to the salvation work of Jesus. So Jesus' reaction to Peter has deeper symbolism. Um, I mean, I don't... I don't really know. I mean, we can always go backwards, right? We can always find the right path. The correct one. Yeah, they're so, they're so difficult to read. I assume that like later in the game, whenever they or later in development, they'll probably put like a pop up to where you can read them a little bit easier. Make it a little bit easier, but that's okay. Jesus said to Peter that he was only thinking like humans and not like God. How can a human be mindful enough to know how God thinks? Left. I must be obedient and do what I know is the will of God, then I will understand. It is not possible for a human to have this connection with God. Okay, what is this? Copper ring. New item found, copper ring, simple. Is that, was that the prize? Did we win? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's something that we can use to sell to get a horse. Okay, now the issue is getting back out. Okay, we gotta get out of the maze now. All right, I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so we're back outside of the maze back there. That was really cool. It was a really cool, like, teaching moment that they introduced into the game. Okay, so... Ooh, a thousand. Okay, so now we definitely have enough. We'll keep the apples and stuff now. Okay, what's up? I would love Can a horse. I interest you in a horse? Absolutely. 80 denari. Which one can I have? You've got just enough for the brown one. The brown one? Okay, that's fine. I hope you are happy with your purchase. Oh. Yeah. All right. Okay, now we're going to go to the temple. Ooh, what's this? Herod the Great's transformation Transformation of Jerusalem. The city of Jerusalem was beautiful in the 33 years of his reign, 37 to 4 BC. Herod the Great transformed the city of Jerusalem as no other ruler since Solomon had, with palaces and citadels, a theater and an amphitheater, viaducts, bridges, the public monuments. These ambitious buildings building projects were part of the king's single-minded campaign to increase the capital's importance in the eyes of the Roman Empire. For a traveler coming to Jerusalem, this long, difficult ascent from Jericho to the Holy City ended as they rounded the Mount of Olives and suddenly caught sight of a view like few others in the world. Across the Kidron Valley, set among the surrounding hills, was Jerusalem, the perfection of beauty. In the words of Lamentations, the joy of the whole earth. I really like how they're introducing, like, Parts of the Bible, history, things like that, like just spread around the map. I think that's really cool. I got the brown horse. Hey Max, remember okay. why you're here. We need to figure ah. out what grandma meant with her riddle. I think you have it with you. Keep your eyes peeled for clues that you might find along the way. I will. Okay, so now we can we can look at the riddle. Okay. Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. Through grain fields, disciples took their fill. The Pharisees cried against the Sabbath's will. Jesus replied with words profound. I blank resound. Okay. WASD. Oh, whoops. Um, okay, so I'll have to figure out this riddle. Oh, okay, so you can go in, in and out. I don't understand. Solve the image puzzles to match the right items in the symbols. So are these two different riddles? I assume. Okay. Anyway, we'll, we'll figure that out after a while. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll, we'll be okay. Okay, let's get down. What's this? The Kidron Valley protected the east side of the city between the Temple Mount and the Mount of Olives. It forms a wadi, a ravine or channel that eventually empties in the Dead Sea. Its name mean, meaning dark or shady, preferably reflects its depths which was at least 50 feet deeper than what it is today, and that it was much cooler than the heated generate, heat generated from the stones in the city above. Kidron is mentioned several times in the Bible, and you can read about the first mention of it in 2 Samuel 15. Okay. Just take this, this money that's just left around. Aloe. Healing properties. Okay, so there will be healing in this, so you can hurt yourself, I assume. So if we just ride in, like on a horse like will they let us I'm assuming not but oh no I can't can't ride your mount here this is a holy place you know yeah whoops sorry <laughs> hey Max look out for the guards make sure to hide behind obstacles to avoid their line of sight you can throw rocks at something that makes noise to distract them okay 
Okay. C to crouch. Oh, there's more stones there. Okay, cool. What's this? The Golden Gate. The Golden Gate is the gate through which Jesus is believed to have arrived in Jerusalem the final time before his arrest and crucifixion. He came to the Mount of Olives riding a donkey with the crowd singing Hosanna as he arrived in the city. This was in fulfillment of the prophecy written in Zechariah 9.9. Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion. Shout in triumph, daughter Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious, humble and riding on a donkey on a colt, the foal of a donkey. It is also the gate through which Jesus probably exited the city the night of the Last Supper to pray in the garden of Gethsemane, and the gate he passed through 40 days after his resurrection when the disciples accompanied him to the Mount of Olives, the site from which he ascended to heaven. Okay. So we have to... Did I miss? How did I miss? Come on now. Hmm. Hmm. What was that? That was me. It was me. Run! What was that? Welcome we made it. to the Temple Mount of Jerusalem in the year 33. Feel free to explore and discover facts about the city. I will. There could also be some clues for Grandma's riddle around here somewhere. I will. I will, I will, I will. Maybe you could find answers at the most holy place, like the priests did. How are we going to get into the hole? Okay, so check out the map. The question marks indicate locations of the unopened scrolls. Oh, wow, there's a bunch. Okay. Cool. So where are we at? We're right here. Okay. All right. Oh, there's some outside the city too. Okay. Can we get out like other ways? Or is this the only way in? Or this is the temple, right? I, I'm so confused. I'm confusing myself. Okay, so there was one back here, right? Right? Aha, there we go. Mm -hmm. The Golden Gate was an ancient entrance to the first temple, the original of which is underground in modern times. It has been built and rebuilt along with the other gates several times, but is currently sealed. The prophet Ezekiel had a vision from God about the temple and all of its sections. In this vision, the Lord told Ezekiel that this gate will remain closed. It will not be opened and no one will enter through it because the Lord, the God of Israel has entered through it. Therefore, it will remain closed. So do those disappear? Okay, so they open up. Oh, okay, so these are, okay. I got it, I got it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll run across those all the time then. Okay, so that's what we've been. <laughs> Can I come over here? Yeah. I know there's one over here. I see you on the ground right there. Come here. Prophecies about Jesus. He would speak in parables. Prophecy. My people hear my instruction. Listen to the words from my mouth. I will declare wise sayings. I will speak mysteries from the past. Psalm 78, 1 through 2. Jesus told the crowds all these things in parables, and he did not tell them anything without a parable. Matthew 13, 34. I assume that this is going to be filled more with stuff whenever uh, the full game comes out. I think this full game's supposed to come out in late 2024. But I mean, like, so far I'm very, very impressed. Like, with the graphics, they look really, really good. It plays well. It's optimized very well. I've only had one spot where it just lagged a little bit, and that's whenever we came into the into this area, but it was just like really quick because things were loading. It's really good so far. Okay, we've got another one here. The Antonia Fortress. At the northwest corner of the Temple Mound stood the Antonia... F I'm saying that right, correct? Antonia Fortress, built by Herod on the site of an earlier fortress and named after Mark Antony, the Roman commander. The historian Josephus relates that the Antonia Fortress was built as a guard to the temple, manned by a Roman legion. The fortress had a tower on each of its four corners. Because it was a politically sensitive site in Jerusalem, the fortress was located on the northwest corner of the temple area where the Roman garrison could quickly quench any civil unrest. The fortress was connected with the temple by a secret passage. So it's really cool as they're putting like historical things in here as well, like other things that are not in the Bible specifically. I like history too. Like that's a, I'm big on history. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. I caught myself on fire. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. What about here? Can I go in here? Is this, is this okay for me to go into? I feel like like further in it's more uh, like a more holy place. Probably up through there. Yeah, let's go up here. I don't, I don't, I'm probably not gonna be able to get in here. I'm gonna assume. Oh, maybe I can, okay. They just let anybody walk around. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here at all. Oh, this is where they do the sacrifices, okay. Okay, am I, am I allowed to be in here? Am I, <laughs> am I allowed to? 
Uh, the Day of Atonement. In the seventh month of the tenth day was the Day of Atonement. In Hebrew, it was called Yom Kippur, and is also known as the Sabbath of Sabbaths. It is a day of rest combined with fasting when the high priest would offer the sacrifices to atone for the forgiveness of sins of himself and the people. This is to be a permanent statute for you. In the seventh month of the tenth day of the month, you are to practice self-denial and do no work, both the native and the alien who resides among you. Atonement will be made for you on this day to cleanse you, and you will be clean from all your sins before the Lord. Leviticus 6, 29-30. I see another one over here as well. Let's go read this one. I really don't think I'm supposed to be back here. The old temple service, old and new covenant. The old covenant, according to the law and the blood of animals, was unable to make anyone perfect. Through understanding what the blood of Jesus actually means for us personally, the new covenant is able to produce what God has always desired. A people who love to keep his commandments and with whom he can have intimate fellowship. And he has with his son, Jesus Christ. As he has with his son, Jesus Christ. Oh, there's another one here. Cool. The temple service, Old and New Covenant. After Jesus offered himself as the ultimate sacrifice for our sins, the Old Covenant temple worship became obsolete. Our body is now to be the temple of the Holy Spirit, God's dwelling place. For this is the kind of high priest we need, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. He doesn't need to offer sacrifices every day, as high priests do, first for their own sins, then for those of the people. He did this once for all time when he offered himself. Hebrews 7, 26 through 27. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws into their minds and write them onto their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. Hebrews 8, 10. Ooh, so we got another riddle. So I don't, I still don't understand this. I still don't, do I, oh, I probably have to find the correct one and then it'll show up. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. The temple service, Old and New Covenant, the tabernacle, and later the temple worship are symbolic of our present time, as written in Hebrews chapter 7 through 10. Jesus came as high priest for the good things to come with the greater and more perfect tabernacle, not made with hands, nor with the blood of goats and calves. Hebrews 9, 1 through 14. So I've read that one. Is there one over here too? Yeah, there is. Okay, let's read this one, then we'll go in there. Can I get down in here? No. Probably for the best. The bronze lavier. The bronze lavier was filled with water before beginning his priestly duties, the priest was required to wash and sanctify his hands and feet here. Okay. So I'm not a priest, so I cannot cleanse myself there. Okay, this is definitely, I'm definitely not allowed to go in here, right? Is it just gonna let me walk in here? Nope. Max, you can't enter here without the priest robes. Okay, that's fair. I kind of figured there'd be a spot that I wasn't, wasn't going to be able to go into. The Ark of the Covenant. What happened to the original Ark of the Covenant remains a mystery to this day. Although there were several stories told, according to 2 Maccabees 2, 1 through 8, it had been recorded that the prophet Jeremiah was divinely instructed to take the Ark and the altar of incense and hide them in a cave in the mountain from which Moses had viewed the promised land. And to seal up the entrance, he declared, the place shall be unknown until God gathers his people again and shows his mercy. Hey, Max, I have an idea. Okay, uh, what's up? What if we turn you into a priest so that you can get an even closer look at what goes on here? Are you up for it? I'm up for anything, but uh, how do we do that exactly? Okay, last time I came here, I brought some highly specialized priest rooms. They've got technology in them that connects to your DNA so that you actually become a part of the priesthood. Okay, are you serious? Where do you even get stuff like this? I made a time machine, Max. This was a piece of cake compared to that. Besides, this is a necessity. Remember, only those of the tribe of Levi can do the work of the temple. So you have to okay. become one of the tribe. Cool. Well, I guess I'm going to try something new today. There is just one problem. Every time you say something like that, I've got to go on some kind of quest. What's up now? Well, I don't know if you could call this a quest exactly, but I can't remember where I stored the robes. I know that I wrote it down here somewhere. I have to look around a bit. Help me out and see if you can find something that gives us a clue. Sure. All right, so that's where we're going to go ahead and end this video. Um, this is going to be part one. We're going to do two or three parts, depending on how long the game is. So stay tuned on the channel for that. So if you haven't subscribed and want to see more, hit that subscribe button and the like button down below. Also, this game is free. The demo is free on Steam. So if you want to support it, go download it and add it to your wish list. It'll help them a lot. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cool. Go f go subscribe to them on YouTube as well. But yeah, this is this was a lot of fun, and I'm excited to, uh, to jump into part two with you guys uh, later this week or next week. So we'll see you you 
Hoop in the next one. Bye-bye.